It was actually a bit shocking coming to Tokyo. I thought everyone would be wearing kimonos and watching anime. My family is one-twelfth Japanese, and we seem to keep the tradition more alive than here. It's sad how far Japan has fallen from. Yeah, I can guarantee there's some people that watch Slice of Life anime and then think that that Slice of Life is actually a lot bigger of a slice than it really is. And let me guess, you came to Japan expecting there to be subtitles somewhere and to fall face first into the love of your life, weren't you? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. Welcome going back into r slash just neckbeard things that if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications and also maybe check out another video or two afterwards that'd be darn dandy of you no shave november expectations versus reality hey now hold up who out here being the dumb dumb who think that this can happen in a single month. I want to know where you got your information from because I feel like you were very much lied to. Okay, look, I'm going to be completely 100% honest. I do not know whether or not to be impressed or afraid of this. Then again, if somebody can actually play this, I would pay good money to see that because actually that would kind of look pretty cool and I can imagine that the music coming out of it would actually sound pretty fair decent too. Either that or it sounds like a fire dumpster. Let's see. I won't say I'm a bad boy, but Santa has never <laughs> given me a present. I'll tell you this right now, that guy up as either a really good ending or a very bad ending and that all depends on whether or not that get up was intentional i am very much hoping it is just a parody be forewarned my rage is endless the treatment doled out to me by twitter for the last several years burns in my guts. When the chains are broken, I will be seeking my vengeance. Prepare for the meme version of the apocalypse. My enemies should be preparing their safe spot. Bases. This dude will be edgier than a Shadow the Hedgehog fan, but then smile and absolutely lose his train of thought as soon as the microwave dings and his nuggets are ready. Home to share for you too, Roswell. Great home in a great location. Attractive white male, 40. Oh boy, this is a Craigslist post. I don't like where this is going. I am seeking to share my home with a mom and her adult daughter, legal age only. Oh gee, I wonder why. Why? I cover the bills and expenses. Ideally, the three of us would build a great life together. A mother and daughter should be open-minded, attracted, and fun with a good relationship. No room for jealousy. Let me know. Look, though, just because you see one random lewd video on the internet, that don't mean you could actually get that to happen like that, okay? There's reasons those things are fiction. Are you calling pokey haters? have been trying to take me out. They have been getting my account banned and bullying me. One may ask, how do you keep going? Yeah, I keep going because my goal, my purpose, my life is bigger than myself. My purpose is to serve my queen. Die you all of this for queen pokey. Look, dude, there, there's a point in time for being a fan of something or someone where you gotta think, Calm down, dude. People acting like this over streamers has been happening all too long, and it, it is weird regardless, it, and I don't think it ever is not going to be weird. And also, last I checked, haven't some of these weirdos found out where people live because of, well, what was it, IP addresses or using a reflection or something? You, some of this stuff gets really, really weird. Are all girdles the same? Well, you know if it's on this playlist, it's entered by a certified genius. All females are the same. And not all men are the same. It you a female, and this bothers you? Not my problem. I get overlooked a trillion times. So how are they different? No, they want is looks, money, fame, no love. So yeah, all females are the same. Hey, so uh, side note: anybody else getting more stupid after seeing this, or is it just me? Women take no accountability. And have become jokes, it's clear on ever social media platform. As a woman myself, ah yes, you are women and I am short stack. It saddens me to see most women, not all, want the easy way of making money by undressing themselves. I'm foreign, so maybe I just don't understand the US customs, but it sucks to see how bad a woman's reputation is nowadays. 
days. I know how to cook, clean, and take care of my own home, as I was taught to be independent, and not for the purpose of taking care of anyone else. But I was also taught to be financially independent, and thanks to my father's hard work, I am now a nurse. But all most women know how to do now is to do their makeup and complain about how they want equal everything but have zero will to work hard for it. They complain about being Shrek blanked, and they do that themselves. To top it off, they now take zero accountability for their emotional damage. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Oh, come on, don't even act like I wasn't gonna be putting that in there. They cause men. Just recently, I was seeing this post from a young man talking about how his ex cheated, and some girl replied asking what he did wrong to make her feel like she needed to cheat. I was just sitting there with a surprised Pikachu face, like, girl, are you dumb? No wonder men don't want to settle down anymore. Bees be crazy. Like, what else do they have to offer besides a hole? It sucks that I can't go on a single platform including iFunny, in which I don't constantly see pictures of lewd women or people ranting about how all women are bad. Not all, but definitely most. Ah yes, meaning you being the exception, right? All I want is to laugh and look at memes, but instead I'm reminded about how due to these new empowered women, I am not respected and unlikely to find a suitable partner because men are too mentally damaged to invest their time in a relationship. Oh, what would it take me to meet you and talk to you? I mean, I would love to fly you out to New York City over a weekend just to have your company and paint the town red. And I would pay for your airline ticket and your hotel stay. I will take you out for clubbing and partying and sightseeing, so I would pay for your shopping, but it has to be limited to those uh, lewd outfits, heels, and cosmetics. Why do I get the feeling that because Craigslist went down in popularity, the dum-dums that make the sketchy posts had to go somewhere and apparently Reddit opener messages was their next go-to? Hello, I followed you on here because you put your bio in your Tinder bio. I have some pointers for you. One, you're not funny for a woman. Two, you're not hot enough for 7,000 followers. Three, you probably have a new dong inside of you five times a day. Four, you simply have no reason to even have the ability to be a public figure. But hopefully we can focus on these problems over a meal. Oh, yeah, no, totally degrade somebody, but then ask them out. That'll totally work. Your place, you cook. I'll bring my notebook. Be ready, because I'm not looking for food as dessert. I would like to eat... Okay, I can't finish that phrase. This is the sort of thing that emasculates white men and contributes to white men being drawn to... Yeah, that's not an okay word on YouTube. Just so you know, the disc short of S will do nothing good for self-esteem of white people in general and will be shilled to no end. Conservative? Pfft. <laughs> You know, I know that there was a joke a while back about not taking people with anime profiles seriously. Yeah, no, that was a joke this time. For the frog? Yeah, no, I'm not taking you seriously in the serious sense. I'm seriously not taking you seriously. If it's not a thing before, it is now. That's a phrase now. Seriously, not taking anybody seriously. Real girls versus anime girls. Real girls are 3D warm and soft. Anime girls are 2D warmer and softer, but not real. Look, if your TV screen is soft, you need to get a new TV. With real girls, you can't touch them. With anime girls, you can kiss the screen. Look, if I'm watching anime with somebody and they start kissing the screen, I'm out. I'm leaving. I can watch the episode on my own time. Like, I I'm out. With real girls, they don't talk with you. With anime girls, you can talk with them. Yes, but much like the real girls, they, they then won't also talk to you since, you know, there's this thing called a lack of consciousness or soul. Or, you know, free will. With real girls, they hate you. With anime girls, 
they loves you, but only in your mind. You know, the weird part about this is that there are some people that are legitimately stuck on this being a serious debate. Look, if you like anime and you have a favorite character, I don't care, that's all you. But I'm, I'm seriously leaving the room if you get up and start kissing the screen. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Maybe check out a video or two, that'd be darn dandy of yous, but I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.